Hey there everyone! Today we're making a Canada flag windsock. You will need colored paper, tissue paper, ribbon, a pair of scissors, a single hole punch, some tape, and some glue. To start, we will be rolling a piece of white paper into a tube. Then we'll be taping the tube together. If you don't have tape, you could use glue. Just make sure that you hold down the edges of the tube until the glue is completely dry or the paper will pop out of shape. Next, we will be cutting out two strips of red colored paper. These will go around each end of the tube to create a red, white, red pattern, just like on the Canada flag. We'll be sticking these down with tape, just like we did with the tube. The next step will be cutting out strips of tissue paper to trail in the wind. I'm going to be using six strips, but you can use more or less if you'd like. The longer they are, the more fun your windsock will be. We're going to be gluing these strips to the inside of the paper tube. Put a little bit of glue at the end of the piece of tissue paper and stick it down inside the tube like so. You won't need too much glue, the tissue paper rips very easily. Once the glue is dry, it should look something like this. Next, we will be cutting out a length of ribbon we will be using to hang the windsock up. This should be quite long so that you have extra length to tie it at the end. You could use string, yarn, or fishing line if you don't have ribbon. We will be using our single hole punch to make two holes at the top of the windsock on the opposite end as the tissue paper tail. These should be on opposite sides of the tube, like so. Feeding the ribbon in through one hole, across the top of the windsock, and out of the second hole, just like this. Then, we'll be tying the two ends of the ribbon together to form a nice big loop. This is how we'll hang the windsock up. Now you can decorate it however you like. Make sure everything is dry before hanging it up in the breeze. Thanks for watching everyone!